Issa Vittori. And it's in the air, it's gone, it's gone. Back, 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 and a far way back. Gale starts with a six. Vittori went for the quicker one first up, dragged it. Gale was good enough to take control. Gale again, down the ground, just one this time, they'll think of a second. Yes, Marshall says, come along for it. He's there, no! The play. That on strike, definitely worth risking a wicket. Great gather from Vittori, and he gets it there. It's a comfortable decision. Experienced a former test player, of course, and he strike. It counts as one. They did complete one, so it counts as one. If Gale misses or mistimes it, he can pick him up. So it's, we'll forget wicket scenarios. They'll, they'll just drive the overs. Vittori to Gale. There he goes. That's another six from Dick Chris Gale. A big one straight down the ground. The gamble pays off. The gamble run put Gale back on strike. Straight back over Vittori's head. Flat and hard into the stand. Three balls remain. There he goes again. That's on. It's gone even further. Christopher Gale. Appropriate name for the... Take a bow. It was the arm ball, but it wasn't full enough. This man is in such good form right now. Shouldn't he miss, and he will not. Two balls to get. He's got all 19 runs, Gale. Vittori round the wicket to him now. There he goes again, down the ground, and it's gone for four between two fielders. We know of his power, we know of his strength, and he's producing it here against him. In the match itself, pulled the four overs and took two, three for a 16. Now he's gone three times, six, and now for a four. Last ball. It's not his natural go to the ball. There goes Gale again. It's got snow on as it comes down. They've run one, they've run two. And that's Chris Gale from the Eliminator over, all by himself. And now it's down. It's Gale, isn't he? Boy, he looked an angry man. Took it out on the New Zealanders, in particular the New Zealand captain. Ovation all around for Chris Gale as he comes something quite special. And are going to win the match. The captain, Daniel Vittori. The Chris Gale, New Zealand's best cricketer, the West Indies' best hitter of a cricket ball. Man in tremendous form right now. Anything that was hitched, he was prepared to hit hard. He was not missing. He simply was not missing. Experience. Ben has not had much at international level. Random. Yeah, they don't have to bowl. He's going to take first crack at it. 26 to win. That's it. First ball. Six. Repetition of what Gale did. Just cleared that front leg and hit the door. We've seen him do this so many. Well, the run one. Come for a second, Shen. And they get home. It's buys. So, well, the wicket keeper had the. Uh, only had a, a, a bail. In the air. It's had another six. It's going to be a catch. And taken, Marshall it is. So Jacob with a six, a couple of buys, eight now. Is that the Mast Indies? Just didn't get it. He's proven hard to get hold of. Has been the so Orem goes. Got things away to a, a great start when he hit it. The ball to no ball. the boundary and gone! It's to be eight. 
it's gone for six. Now, was it too high? Was this too high? For the fast delivery. Surely. Well, best of my knowledge, it's any bowler, isn't it? For the no ball, that went for seven. Oh, yeah! That's it, all over. West Indies have won. Then bowls Ross Taylor, and the West Indies are going to be decided by an eliminator over. Two batsmen out, the West Indies are on the halfway stage. When Gale was out, they collapsed towards the end. The scores were level 155 for seven New Zealand. 155, and it really was Chris Gale once again who won it for the West Indies with his sensational hitting of Daniel Vittori to do to get the 25 indeed the 26 that they needed off the six balls of the Eliminator Park yeah. on Sunday we come back here to Eden Park with a match New Zealand versus the West Indies in 2020 that may be 20 runs short